Give me all your Taylor Swift talk The tunes that rule our minds Now that she has dropped the F-bomb Now's the fucking time Give me all your Taylor Swift talk No escape no escape, Taylor Swift dog. It's Taylor time. It's here. The day has come. I've awaited this day. Mm-hmm. Been building up to this for a while. We've got a lot to say about Taylor. We sure do. Taylor is a big part of our lives. She's kind of a family member. She is. That's true. She is a family member she at drops, this point. Yep. She drops Izzy off at school mm-hmm. with us. Yep. She doesn't really pick... We don't really listen to it so much on the way back home from school now. No, we do. You're oh, not do. with that not nighttime with it. pickup, but... Uh, okay. She and I and Izzy spend time together. Yeah. Crossing the streets of Greenfield in the minivan with Taylor. The glamorous sounds of Taylor Swift Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, our town. And our town, yeah. Well, we are a Taylor Swift family. Um, I was sort of brought to Taylor. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, okay. You didn't like her at Yeah, I don't want to say I like disliked her it was more like she just wasn't really on my interested radar i just wasn't that interested yeah you had you described her style as sing as speaking and singing mm-hmm. you, you thought that she wasn't really singing like like beyonce let's say mm-hmm. yeah and uh for you taylor swift fans out there i'm wrong and she does sing. And I'm a fan now, so you, you're not allowed to come for me. I'm with you. I stand in complete... I'm arm in arm. We're linked. And um, I don't know. I just Maybe I wasn't ready to receive her yet, but then I didn't really have a choice. Izzy, we didn't Izzy have a told choice. me when she was ready for Taylor. She went from Casey Musgraves, from being literally Casey Musgraves' number one fan. I will fight you. She was. She was 100%... Casey Musgraves, number one fan. I was really there for that one. I, I, there, there is a if you can't beat them, join them aspect to the aspect. Lark's tongue and aspect. <laughs> aspect. Oh my. There is a can't beat them, join them aspect to Taylor, but that simplifies it too much. Absolutely. Because when you start to climb into the world of Taylor Swift, mm. it begins to reveal itself. And That's it's right. a very, it's a very, it can be a very rich experience, even for an old punk rock codger like myself. <laughs> it's but, true. Look yep. at her breaking you down. It's, she uh, broke me down. And mm-hmm. now she's actually, she's introducing profanity. To, to a new generation. Mm-hmm. And it's coming to the new generation in a way that I wasn't expecting. I didn't mm-hmm. believe that Taylor Swift was going to be the one to deliver, to deliver shits and fucks littered all over her new album. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Surprise. Yeah. Well, she's a grown-ass woman, and she's going to say what she wants to say and, and, and you know, feel what she wants to feel. And um, I don't know. The new album's really grown on me, I have to say. Midnight's. I'm way into that record now. Yeah. <laughs> Couple of those songs. I didn't think it was going to happen. Uh-huh. I was like, nah, I don't know. But yeah, yep. it took like two listens. That's yeah. not, I mean, that's pretty good. It's pretty damn good. Two to three listens. Like it took me probably 135 listens to like some of those earlier Taylor Swift songs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like the Romeo and Juliet one that drives me kind of crazy. That one's not my favorite. And the one, the... Uh, Izzy's number one favorite song. What is that? You should be with me, or what is that <laughs> you one? You belong with me. You I think. belong with me. Yeah, she that likes one. That one. I, I'm not into that song mm-hmm. on a philosophical level I or a sonic level. Yeah, but I've heard it 
Many, many, many times. <laughs> it actually, is, it's, it's, yeah. I would, it's haunted my dreams, like on repeat, like short snippets of it will just loop and loop and loop and loop. But thankfully this new record is, it's okay. It's got, it's I've got room that for loop. it. Mm -hmm. Put that song Karma right in the middle. Go ahead. Please bring it to me at three o'clock in the morning. I'll be happy to have, to receive. <laughs> <laughs> Karma is great. How do you deny that song? It's so good. Well, I don't deny it. And mm. I don't want to talk to anybody who does deny it. Yeah. Because I just want them to have their own opinion. I just, I don't want to, I don't want to fight about it. Mm. I don't want to fight about the Taylor Swift thing. Yeah. Well, there's no fight in our house. It's just, we just, we're committed. We're into it. Mm. And, um. This is reminding me of a few things that I wanted to say about it. Okay. And how, uh influential Taylor has become to me okay, talk as an about artist. It. Yeah. Um, what has she done for you? Well, she had, her music is so relentless and prevalent in our life that I found in this last two months that writing my own music, you know, to accompany these, these podcast episodes, mm -hmm. writing my own music and immersing myself in cover songs and stuff was really the only defense I had against it. It just being Taylor, 24 seven all day long, all night long in my brain. Mm -hmm. So I was really inspired to start working again and, you know, swiftly <laughs> and, <laughs> and with, with great gusto on my own, in my own world and in my own music, just so I love Taylor, like we said, but boy, uh, when it's really just nonstop, cause I'm a real music related person and music that I like, the songs that I like will just dominate my conscience yeah yeah even if it's your favorite song yeah right and then the taylor songs had actually become these these crazy salads of bits and pieces of like several different songs all in this kind of gnarled flow infinity flow mm -hmm. you know just these the the genetic genetics of two to three four or five different songs all together i think i had that exact thing happening the other night i was trying to sleep and it was like between that wonderful witching hour, like 1 to 3 a.m., my favorite time to get no sleep. And, uh, well, Taylor, she came to me yet mm. again, as yeah, she does. And um, it was like a montage of, mm. it was like my brain couldn't even keep track of it. It was a mashup. Mashup. It was a mashup. Thank you. Mm. Of, okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, all right. What is your... Second favorite Taylor Swift song. Um, you really like "You Belong to Me." That's really good. You belong with me. There's "You Belong with Me," but there's so many other songs by her. You can't even choose. Midnight maybe. Rain. Midnight Rain. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. Why do you like that song so much? Because like at like when she like she um at the first she like also does this cool um photo with her mouth at the starting she, she does yes. a cool photo, photo with her microphone like her microphone is probably like pretty good yeah like so she, you like the sound of the beginning it sounds really interesting yeah right and then like mm -hmm. when and then after she's like pad new queens and new botanos and i just really like i like a lot of the songs from her new album her new album is very good yeah it's true but like, it does have the F word in, like, a lot of them, but there's only, like, three ones that don't have it. What do you what do you think about that? Um, I'm okay with it, but I never literally sing. I never literally sing along with the F word part. You don't? I don't sing along with the F word part, but I do sing along with when she's singing. Yeah. What, why don't you sing along with the F word part? Because it's a bad word, and I just don't really want to say that. Because if I, like, when when I said it when I was young, when I was, like, four years old, I felt so bad. You did say it when you were four? Yes. You did? Yep. Oh. Okay. And I felt so bad. I was like... <sighs> you felt bad? Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, there are some, there are some words on the new Taylor Swift record. Yes, mm -hmm. because she's getting older. And she's older, older. yeah. Change like midnight. My town was a 
Love's plan Full of cages, full of fences Pregnant queens and big pretenders But for some it was paradise A montage, a slow motion red potion, jumping off things in the ocean. I broke her heart cause she was nine. She, she was, was so jealous of me at night. Hey, she wanted to come to the I wanted that. Hey, she wanted to be a bride, I was making my own name. She said that thing, she said that thing. Don't let me change that midnight. Shiny family, holiday, a bunch of candy But for her, it's every day I'm peering through a window A deep portal, time travel All the love we unravel And the lights I gave away Cause she was so shot on the night She woman in a comfortable I wanted that She wanna be a bride I was making my own name I'm chasing my fame She said I'm sorry Don't let me change my Call you Lou Barlow uh, or Trent Reznor? Oh, call me Trent Reznor. I'd be happy to step into his life right now as long as you were there. Oh, yep. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe be cool with that. Yeah, oh? I uh, I feel like that's very Trent Reznor inspired. Is that wrong? Or I know you don't really know his music. I but... don't know his music. Hmm. Maybe on some maybe inspired by the same level. thing. Yeah. Inspired by the same things. I bet Trent and I. Share some, we have, we have some things in common. I bet he and I could probably have an interesting discussion about early eighties regional goth music. (laughs) I bet you guys could probably have a lot of discussions about all sorts of things. I think he's also just like a, is he, are you guys like the same age? I don't know. Probably very, very close. Yeah. I would say maybe fifties ish, right? Sure. He's married. Looks like he's got some kids. I might be older than him. Really? I bet I bet I got like two to three years on him. Huh. I don't know. Lou, tell me what inspired you to make your cover of Midnight Rain sound the way it does. I was using the what I had at my disposal. Like I have I don't have any really sophisticated rhythm machines right now. And I don't know how to program rhythm machines. I'd been studying the basic beat of Midnight Rain for two to three weeks because I came to the realization that I was going to have to cover this song. Mm -hmm. I think either you gave me the directive. Actually, you've suggested I cover all kinds of Taylor Swift songs and I've said, no, no, no. But when you said I should cover this one, I was like, okay, I can do this because it's almost a collage and it's also extremely simple. There's only four chords to the song, which is unusual with her. Mm-hmm. A lot of her songs are her. A lot of her her songs actually are pretty sophisticated songwriting pieces. Yeah, this is this is a this is a one progression of four notes. That's that's my territory right there. Mm. Makes it easy for me to cover the song. Didn't have to do a lot of, and I like how it's like just a real. It is itself a, a collage of almost eighties sounding synthesizers and blurbles, and it's it's a really nice like kind of ambient piece a bit. It's cool. It's a really cool thing. So, but I was just exam. I had just examined, listened, and examined it, and figured out 
how I could, if I had eight hours to make a Taylor Swift song and do it in a way that I was pleased with, I knew what I had to do. And I found I had to go with some really basic beats mm -hmm. and with the just the basic feel of things. I could actually spend another week or two working on that cover. I had to let it go. Oh, I feel like that there's, if someone is out there that is making, um, a new horror film, they might write, really want to use that piece. Okay. Yeah. Lou Barlow music at gmail.com for permission. Yeah. And the answer is yes. <laughs> Whatever you want, take it, make it. I mean, use Taylor's going to make the money from it ultimately. Right. You know, I'm just the performance. Mm -hmm. The master side. Oh, I wanted, I had to tell you about how, uh, not, I mean, influential also in this way. She's got swear words all over the record. Midnight's. Mm. And I actually had the thought, um, Hey, I don't, I don't really swear in my songs and I don't need to. Mm. I was being a little judgmental mm. and thinking that, uh, that's very judgmental. Yes. You swear in your music. Uh, I was, I'd like to think I was being uncharacteristically judgmental. That is uncharacteristically judgmental. Right. I thought I was not, I was, I was resisting Taylor using profanity. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish she didn't do it because it does create a dilemma for our little Izzy. Yeah. Although she seems to be negotiating it fine. <laughs> It's very matter of fact. Yeah, very matter of fact about it. Um, as evidenced by our little interview snippet. Um, anyway, I so I was had had this sort of righteous thought, and then the next day I was working on a full composition song, and all of a sudden I was like, I don't know, I really want to use profanity in this song. Mm. I, I really feel like profanity is where it, this has to go, mm -hmm. and then if I don't bring profanity the, to this song, I am not doing service to my muse oh so on that note then did you bring profanity to the song oh yeah <laughs> are you gonna sing it for me baby i'm gonna play this for you so this is a new uh in progress folk implosion this is song? an in progress folk implosion song the real defining aspect of this song is a wonderful ringing guitar riff by john davis which you will not hear Oh, but it would be so nice is, to hear when I do. It would, it would probably be like, oh, that's a good song. This is just me kind of weird. I don't know what this is with, for me. But it has profanity, everybody. It has profanity. Whether it stays or, or, or not, I, mm. can't, I can't say. I'm, okay. I'm changing my mind about these songs all the time. Can't find the daylight. Gotta let it all in. Dust from a curtain sparkle. Settling in What do I do with All the beauty and pain Another way around it I'll do it over again Once I belong To the cult of the never move on Till I woke up on the floor That's no way to live Getting it more than I get With the truth I'm running from Congratulations Near the end of the day Take a sip of poison and fade away. A roller coaster ending in stars. I reckon after midnight, my defenses are gone. And if you belong to the cult that they never move on. That's no way to live Getting it more than you give With that truth you're on and from Tell me you love me the way that I am One day I'll be the way I am The more that you hold me the more Fucking cave. Soon I'll leave this. Fucking
fucking cave. I like that song. I'm excited to hear the song, however it ends up. Um, but with it being like all filled out with John Davis's playing as well. Yeah. The, the song that it's based on is it, it was so strange. Like we got together again within this last year or two and, uh, and I had always remembered his riff from the song and I actually had remembered the bass line and the riff and, but I don't know how, because I, I don't have a demo of the song. I don't know where it is. All I, it's just been in my brain as a guitar part and a bass part for 20 years. And I'd never, I thought I had it recorded somewhere, but I don't. And I told John, I was like, do you remember this song? And like right away without barely even explaining what it was to him we both we played it we sat the two of us and played the thing all the way through from like from memory of this one jam we had it was like uncanny that's incredible actually and that's incredibly it was wild it was wild it was one of the most like i've never had that was a really i mean john and i've had some pretty unique musical experiences together but that was that truly so this song carries a lot of weight i think Mm. in that way that it's really something that had kind of that's really special so i've been as i write the lyrics for this song i really uh i'm I'm just i I don't know if i'll ever be happy with what i get (laughs) well maybe it's a song that like this will be a stop on its journey you know on this album but then maybe who knows 20 years from now you guys will pick up the song and you'll change it all again and but it'll still have an element of the very first and second versions yeah that's fun to think about and i think that the swear words do make sense in there the profanity fuck man yeah feels good sometimes it's hard to just deny the oh is that the end yeah <laughs> oh taylor 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 we love you taylor swift <laughs> the perfect that's yeah like in the small town the taylor in the town exactly tailored swift Taylor, 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 Taylor,